is going on YouTube? So today I have a vlog type of video. I'm gonna be shooting most of it on my, uh, sorry, on my iPhone. Um, honestly, man, if any of you are looking to start a channel or just do some videos, iPhone video quality is insane. It's so, so good. But anyway, I'm gonna be checking out some apartments, so I thought I'll take you guys with me. And it is minus 16, but feels like minus 22, I believe. Yeah, feels like minus 22. So you can imagine it's gonna be super cold outside. So I threw on my uh, Acme Studios turning. I'll talk about the outfit later, but yeah, let's hop right into the video. All right, so here is what I decided to wear. We have the Acne Studios turtleneck, like I said, my Yayan Vanage bag, which a lot of people always ask me where I got it. It's from a couple seasons ago, and it was from a local store here. And honestly, I haven't seen it anywhere since. And then we have my usual Japanese trousers that I absolutely love wearing. And then the Bottegas, which have been a blessing for the winter, the cold days here in uh, in Montreal. But yeah, that's the look. I have my jacket right there, ready to go. These are better feeling sunglasses, honestly. I absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. Uh, I have a couple other pairs, but they just don't fit as well as these ones. Wait. Like I have these, kind of look like Hancock, but <laughs> I have these ones that are pretty sick as well, but honestly, I bought them and I haven't gotten that much wear out of them, uh, but they're still pretty neat. I usually tend to wear these during the summer. Quite nice. Always have a good pair of sunglasses, honestly. Definitely elevates a look. The acne turtleneck, which you guys have seen countless times. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, let me put on the coat, actually. All right, so this is what the outfit looks like with the coat. I have the bag hiding underneath here. But yeah, you know one thing actually is I never wear my uh, Bottegas like this, you know? Um, I usually kind of tuck in the pants, but I actually think it looks kind of nice like this. Like it's just a little bit more simplistic, you know? Uh, but yeah. So viewing number one done and it was sort of like a lost love style but uh, someone is still living in there so I couldn't really film or anything but also I didn't like the, the place to be honest so um, she proposed a couple other places that I'm gonna go see by myself tomorrow so I'll probably show you guys what it looks like but uh, to be honest like when when it comes to uh, to rent in uh, in Montreal, it's really feasible. Like like a lot of the the places right now also are discounted because of everything that's going on and like the high level of unemployment. So I'm quite lucky to be honest to be looking for a spot right now. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, um, I'll show you a I'll show you guys a couple places. Uh, to be honest, like the only reason why I'm moving is to get a place like I already get a lot of lighting in my spot but I've just been there for like three years now and I'm like you know what I feel like I need a change so uh, I'm gonna try to find a new place and then just give you guys more content more crisp content and I feel like because so much of my stuff is shot in my home I need to find something that I'm super satisfied with that I like and that I can get a lot of content in so so that's really my uh my objective right now and uh so so yeah so stay tuned and then uh yeah gonna visit another spot right now actually that's more like downtown area not really a big fan of downtown just because there's always constructions here and it just kind of looks like shit uh but i might be able to record that one and uh and see so yeah The second location is in the middle of downtown and 
I can't even tell you guys the um, a lot of the times with uh, the issues with uh, living downtown here it's just there is an intense amount of construction like yes it's convenient but if you live in Montreal honestly anywhere on the metro line is pretty convenient like you can get to wherever you need to get to you know so because it's not that big of a city and in most cases you're kind of just going around the same places so anyway this one is like literally downtown but i'm already over it just going to visit and i'm seeing all the construction around and i'm like you know i can't deal with the noise at night especially because i'm not like i'm a very light sleeper so like for me if there's noise at night due to construction or even during the day it's just like recording and like shooting and even just working it's just gonna be so hectic but anyway we'll see the price is pretty good it, it's in my range so you know it might be where it was worth it to check it out that's what i was thinking and uh yeah it's extremely cold today as well Fuck. it's like minus 22 so i'm freezing but luckily i have this acne studio uh turtleneck that honestly if you live in a cold place best purchase you can get uh, as a layering piece especially if you like wearing uh long coats this is absolutely the most amazing uh layering piece just because like it's really warm and in a lot of cases you don't really have to uh, to do anything else other than throw on a long coat and you're pretty much good to go like right now it's minus 25 and i'm wearing it and i'm pretty warm um usually i put on my gloves that i don't have with me right now but um you know i wear this uh, especially when i'm running errands like right now uh it's the perfect uh, piece to throw on but yeah Alright, so for outfit number two on the second day, pretty simplistic. I threw on my puffer uh, from Asklo, which I absolutely love wearing just because it's actually quite warm. So I layered it with Sanja's hoodie, which um, I kind of like including in my uh, layering pieces. Finished off the look with my Karma Young um, vest. Um, and then at the bottom, we have the same outfit, just sort of the sweats tucked in now into the Bottega boots. But yeah, pretty simplistic, quite warm as well. The top, same as always, the uh, a better feeling sunglasses with my beanie. But yeah, that's day two. Look two for day two. That's pretty much it. Yeah, uh, honestly, with regards to the this uh, Asklo puffer, definitely invest in one um i find them to be quite warm and also pretty stylish pretty puffy as well it's really nice um but yeah let's head out So just got done with my last visit and man i think i found my apartment uh this has got great lighting super spacious at least for my liking and the balcony is great so yeah i think that's it didn't take too long and it was right in my price range um so i'm gonna try to negotiate to see if i could even bring it down further and then we'll see but yeah that was it on the apartment hunting video all right guys that is going to conclude today's video thank you all so much for tuning in highly appreciate it make sure to subscribe if you enjoy the content and you can follow me on my instagram at g-r-e-g-n-t-o-r-e -E, where i post regular outfit pictures thank you all so much for the support on my last video highly appreciate it i will definitely be doing more of those and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out